Hare Krishna. Turmeric is a wonderful spice. Not only is it very tasty in so many dishes, but it's actually very medicinal. Turmeric is a root, and as a root, it expands underground by growing more roots connected to it. This is called a rhizome. In order to plant turmeric, you're going to grab one of these portions of root and put it in the best soil that you can get. We recommend cow dung soil. So literally, you're just going to grab this root and put it into the soil, and that's it. Turmeric needs warm weather to grow, so you might put the root and expect it to grow immediately. Well, you need that warm weather. This is a plant after it has been growing for about a month, and it just keeps developing until it reaches the full size, which is something like this. Once the plant reaches full size, it will stop growing above the ground, but the rhizome will keep developing underground. Eventually, when the winter gets closer and the temperatures outside start to drop, then the turmeric plant dies back and goes dormant. And it looks pretty ugly, but it's not dead, it's just simply dormant. After a year, the plant will just resume its growth and start sprouting again. Let's check how much turmeric we can harvest from this small pot. Turmeric can be harvested at any time of the year, so you don't really have to worry about if it's good enough or not to harvest. You don't have to wait until it's dormant. You can harvest any time that you need. Of course, you have to give it enough time for it to develop. As you might have noticed, the root is covered with soil, so it's a little bit difficult. So you can wash it in a bucket with water or rinse it with a water hose until the root is completely clean. And then you can very easily see what's going on underground. And this is the result. From that little one single piece of turmeric, all this stuff developed. It's a whole year of growth, so you have to be a little patient, of course, but it's well worth the wait. The most common mistake when growing turmeric is putting it in ordinary soil. Because everything looks fine, the plant leaves and everything look great, but when you come to harvest it, you get nothing. That is why you have to make sure that you have the best soil possible, 100% organic matter, and the easiest way to get that is cow dung soil. This is another example of a turmeric root freshly harvested. Basically, you're just going to take these extensions of the root and break them off of the rhizome, and that's what you're going to use for your cooking. You are probably used to seeing turmeric in a powder form, and we will show you how to do that in another video, but it is not absolutely necessary. Turmeric is very easy to grow, but if for some reason you can't, please never buy the powder from the stores because there's so much cheating in the name of business that you never get the real deal. Either buy the fresh roots just like this or the whole pieces dried. Both will work just fine. I think everyone should try growing turmeric at home. It's very easy and it's very satisfying. Thank you very much and please contact us if you need any help. Visit our website thevedicway.org Thank you. Hare Krishna.